All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do here is a comparison of the Sony ECM DS70P microphone with the bootlegs that have been coming out of the of the same microphone out of who knows what country. I was uh, an idiot and bought the bad one, thinking it was real, and I didn't pay more than five dollars. You can get these fake ones for five dollars. Here's the real one. All right, now I, after having bought it, saw. A, side-by-side -side pictures and determine that mine was fake, but we're going to try and help you out determine which one you have by showing you a direct side-by-side -side comparison. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is the foil, the, the uh, foil. Grill. The grill. Mesh. Yeah, all of the above. The one on the right, this is the real microphone. You notice it protrudes further from the flange and is more rounded than the fake one, which is square and not as curved. Also, if you'll notice right here, these flanges are parallel. And in the real mic, they taper a bit towards the end of the microphone, here and here. Now, um, another thing is, top to bottom comparison, you'll see that the, the real microphone is longer by about a centimeter on both ends. A couple other things we noticed. Where it says Sony, it's brighter on the real mic. It's uh, more translucent on the fake mic. There are little things like where the screws go in. You notice on the fake mic, there is uh, no extra plastic, less recession here. It's smoother. And this is going to be hard to see, but we'll see if we can show this. The writing on the back of the mic which is, uh, there it is, nice and sharp on the real one. And on the fake one, it's almost like the difference between high def and standard definition. Doesn't pop out as much. So, on the right, an obvious difference in the shot between the real Sony and the fake one. We have seen people who have replaced the innards, the components, the guts of the fake Sony in order to get a better microphone. It cost about $20. And uh, on a side-by-side, -side we heard audio-wise, there was more bottom end and bass, and it was an improved microphone. But I have recorded a bootleg concert on a Kodak ZI8 with this exact microphone, and it, it wasn't bad. It had a buzz to it. I don't know if that was because of the lights or because of... Um, the microphone itself, we have to do another side-by-side, -side, and we will do that in the future. Watch our videos, and we will we'll put a side-by-side -side comparison in a live concert um, type of situation and in just a regular speaking and such to see which mic sounds better. Because the thing is, even on some cheap knockoffs, there might be situations where they work better because of the, uh, the tonal range. Anyway, I hope this helps. Fake. Real. That's it. Thank you.